So I saw Toy Story 3 and it was pretty good. Now to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much from this movie, and with Disney sequels, you kinda know what you're gonna get. But this movie was a very pleasant surprise. Now I'm not a sucker for nostalgia at all, so I really wasn't asking for another Toy Story movie, especially since the third one wraps up the series so well. Plus I was kind of disappointed by The Incredibles 2, and I didn't really find it to be worth the time that I spent on it. I think I was just temporarily disappointed in Disney sequels, and I wasn't really looking forward to this movie. I don't know, I just didn't really want this to be the same Toy Story movie that we've already seen, but it isn't that at all. This movie does a lot of different stuff for the series, and I really liked watching it. This movie just has a lot of energy, there's always something happening. It kind of feels like an action-adventure movie, with most scenes being fast-paced and time-sensitive. And this makes it so the movie only slows down at the most important points. The movie's just really, really well paced, and again, I think of The Incredibles 2, which is really slow and incredibly predictable. This movie doesn't have those problems at all, and it's far from predictable. The new and existing characters all have a lot of depth, and the themes present here are pretty complex for a kid's movie. Themes like self-worth, identity, and sacrifice all make this a pretty emotional movie. But it's also actually really funny, too. I'm a mean old man who don't laugh at movies no more, but this one was so cute and charming and energetic that it got more than a few laughs out of me. From the trailers, I kinda thought Key and Peele would be weak comic relief, but I was proven wrong yet again. I actually really like them. I actually like all the characters that are featured in this movie, even the antagonist. I won't spoil why, but I really like what they did with the villain in this movie. It was way different than the last two villains, which were basically the same character. However, I said I like the characters that were featured in this movie, and I say that because a lot of the old characters aren't really in the movie that much. I think Mr. Potato Head, Slinky, and Rex have like one or two lines each. And yeah, it's understandable that they can't really squeeze every character into this movie, but it just becomes very apparent that the movie didn't really want to bother giving everybody something to do. So instead, they kind of just hang out and are like, there. It's just a little distracting and it doesn't really ruin the movie, and I think I'd prefer the new characters to the classic ones in this movie since we get to see character development for people we haven't met yet. I mean, it's not like Slinky had any character growth in store for us anyway. This is very much the Woody movie, and I'm glad we have a lot of time to focus on him and what he's been through. However, I think the one character I would have liked to see a little more of was Buzz Lightyear. I've always considered Buzz Lightyear to be like the other main character, and it's kind of weird that he doesn't really do much in this movie. Also, they kind of made him dumber in this movie. I mean, I haven't seen Toy Story 3 in a while, but I just watched 2, and he wasn't this dumb. But anyway, I do recommend you guys watch this movie if you like cute animated adventures. It goes without saying that the movie is really good looking and it has really charming and cute moments. It's just worth watching. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. So I'm giving this movie a sticker that says brilliant. Go and see the movie. It's very cute.